I've experienced halts and setbacks in 2023, and as experienced as some investors are, it doesn't matter how sophisticated, professional, or experienced you are as an investor, there are market circumstances outside of your control and my control that we have to acclimate to in times that things change economically. And so one of the biggest issues that I had in 2022 moving into 2023 is that we had over $180 million worth of developments on the books. And we had a goal for 2023. And the goal for 2023 was to turn dirt on all those developments. And as I sit right in the middle of the month in December of 2023, out of all the projects that we had to turn dirt on in 2023, I only turned dirt on $22 million of $180 million worth of real estate. Now, to you guys watching, that might sound like a failure as far as the year. And for some of you guys watching, you guys might sit back and go, ha ha, Jerome, you didn't hit your goals. And you're 100% right. I didn't hit my goals this year. But the good news is, is that as a sophisticated investor, I made good decisions to set myself up for 2024. And so in spite of not hitting our 2023 goals, sometimes life circumstances um, hold us vulnerable to circumstances outside of our control. And so um, 2023 posed to be more of a restructuring and cleanup year for us than anything at all. And so we were able to sit back, clean up projects, architecture, make our plans better, make projects more cost effective, and also look deeper into our business model to strategically position ourselves with strength as we moved out of this recessionary market and into better times. And with the federal funds rate being projected to go down four times in 2024, and Jerome Powell projecting that the federal reserve rate will go down 1.5% basis points, that positions us with lenders to give us better leverage. So we're anticipating to break ground on $120 million in the first two quarters of 2024. Will that happen? Things look very promising. And strategically, we're positioning ourselves to win. And one of the biggest issues is that for investors, ladies and gentlemen, if you push too hard sometimes, my philosophy has always been you push as hard as you can in everything that's in your control. And when you force things to go, meaning that in spite of what's happening, you push, you push, you push, and the whole world pushes back. And if you still push over that and you make things go in spite of that, that's when those are times where you put yourself in a vulnerable position to lose. And now I know a lot of entrepreneurs out there sit back and they tell you, oh, just push, make things happen. Yes, you push things to make things happen as far as you can push them within a reasonable threshold. But once you surpass that, re that threshold of reasonability, if you push over that, that's where investors, sophisticated or what you consider to be sophisticated investors, entrepreneurs and business people tend to go bankrupt or lose. And so we pushed to that threshold. We tested and dipped our toes in the water over that threshold. And we sat back and said, okay, the water's a little too cold. Let's clean up everything that we're doing and let's continue to set ourselves up for success when the threshold rises, the waters and the temperaments increase, and we're safely able to move into these uh, uncharted territories. And so ladies and gentlemen, 2024 looks really good. In spite of us not hitting our numbers in 2023, for those of you guys that hit, did not hit your numbers in 2023, but still worked your ass off, it's okay. Because in spite of that, we worked our ass off, we cleaned up our businesses, we still profited on our active income of buying land and building houses and our concrete company and everything else that we're doing out there. And we still put new projects on the books for new developments and an additional $100 million of new project flow that will come to the table by the tail end of 2024 because of our patience, our diligence, and our willingness to humble ourselves to the market circumstances to be able to strategically position ourselves to win in 2025 and 2024. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you watch this video, what is your biggest takeaway? Your biggest takeaway is to always push through gloom times so that you can come out on the other side, a winner, 
and a survivor. That way you can come out of uncharted territories as a massive winner and financially secure. Because this isn't get rich quick. This is get rich for sure, provided that you're willing to do what it takes to migrate and pivot in times that are unforeseen. You have a great opportunity on the forefront and the horizon. And we still have about two years ahead of us to repair this crazy market. The question is, how will you position yourself? Did you position yourself? And will you continue migrating forward in a positive fashion to profit from the lower interest rates, the lower cap rates, and the larger valuations that are at the forefront of next year? Ladies and gentlemen, continue paying attention to what the market brings, how to position yourself, and you will always win as long as you're learning. And that is how you compound your success. For more videos just like this, ladies and gentlemen, click and subscribe to our YouTube channel, pound that thumbs up button, give us some love, and I look forward to seeing you next time.